Let's do some market updates that actually get you leads and are not boring or salesy. I'm glad you stopped by because this channel is all about growing your real estate business the simplest way possible and have you make a little ton of money while still being able to spend time with your family. If that sounds like you, my name is Alicia Crastell. Hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to go over how to do a market update that's actually a fun way and a conversational way instead of like, oh, these are boring stats that can actually get you leads. You'll be able to see examples on screen. You can pause. You can use the ones that I do word for word if you want. I mean, change the stats to what it is in your local area, but you can use the exact posts I want or change them or get ideas from them and run with it. These not only work just for me, I did a post about them on TikTok and these are the comments that I get saying how great they are. It works so well because it shows your evidence of success that you know real estate intimately and your connection because you're doing it in a not formal way. If you've been on my channel before, you know that connection and evidence of success are the formula I use to equal referrals and clients. The first thing I do is I look at the stats, what's going on in the market, what I'm seeing behind the scenes and figure out what I want to share and what's really interesting that the public doesn't know or knows but that hasn't heard it from someone like me that they trust. You'll see in the one that I did yesterday, I'm talking about like what's really up with the shift. Like everybody's heard the shift is happening. Let me break down for you like what's actually happening here. I include the graphics to back up what I'm saying and saying it's legit, showing that the price decreases are substantial, but we're still seeing some price increases. And I go into why are we seeing that? I give an example and then I put a little bit of perspective in there too. The stats I got directly from my MLS and I include a picture of myself because I want it to be personal. I want to have that connection with them and not think it's just something that I shared from another website. The next one I'm showing you is one where I really show them behind the scenes again, confirming what they've heard and seen. I'm also emphasizing the nuance in the market, like being able to see the nuance and how a great realtor can do that for you. That's hammering home that it's not just about the facts that the real estate market is what it is, and I'm confirming what it is, but also how do we work in this? Like, how am I, the professional, going to help you through this and get an advantage? These can be short form video, a longer form video. They can be a post like you see here. They could be an Instagram story or a Facebook story. You have a lot of ways to utilize this. I'll typically either start with a video or a post, but I'll do both eventually. I'll take the information with one, like if I do a video, and then I'll type out what I actually said. I'm going to show you another one and feel free to copy the verbiage again, but I wanted to let you know these posts, they're kind of meaty posts and they're giving people information. They're going to be your highest viewed or your post with the highest interaction, but people are going to look at it and someone might contact you in a messenger or like three weeks later, they're looking at this. So if you can get eyeballs on it, it does not matter if people are going to interact with this because you're not asking them to do anything. There's no reason for them to interact, but you will just want them to see it and view it. These are extremely high level evidences of success. I have a video all about other evidence of success you can use to attract clients if you want to try those as well. I'll link it right below here. I also want to share with you Ken Oswitz's channel on TikTok because he does a really great job of doing like mini updates frequently. Check out his channel and get some ideas of how he breaks out the very specific areas of Southwest Florida, but also like how, how waterfront differs or like what's the difference between this market and that market in a really simple way that anyone could use in their own market. Which social media platform do you plan on using for these updates? TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. It'll give me information so I know what video to make for you in the future. With each of these updates, you'll see each line, like every piece, there's a little nugget you could pull out and make it its own Instagram story or a graphic or something that's just a little tiny nugget rather than the whole picture that you can use to multiply your pieces of content. The effectiveness of these posts gets amplified when you're actually communicating and connecting with your audience because now they know you and connect with you and now they're seeing that you're an expert. Why would they not use you? It also gives you something very tangible for a coworker, or a friend, someone in your sphere to link or tag someone else in or share so they know you're legit and not just the average agent. And if you do an email newsletter or a sale mail newsletter, you can put this in its entirety into the newsletter or you can pick a couple pieces each week or month and add it into your newsletter. The next step is to fit this into your marketing plan and I'm going to add the link for the best marketing plan below. If this is helping you see market updates differently, make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so I can help you grow your business next week.